Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today on Homemakers. Today we're going to be working on some beeswax candles. So you should have a couple of sheets of beeswax in your kit. You'll have one that is a long rectangle and then you'll also have one that is a big triangle. And then you should have some different sizes of um, candle wick. And so we're going to use this to roll up with our candles. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make candles and then you can take your kits and do what you like. So depending on the temperature inside your house, these may be kind of stiff. So if you notice that um, they feel kind of like they're crackly, you may want to heat them up with a blow dryer just a little bit. Um, it's pretty warm in here, so I won't need to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is decide what size you want your candle. So if you just roll this rectangle up, you're going to end up with a candle about this size. It's about four inches tall, a little bit over four inches. And this is just one piece rolled up. But if you want a smaller candle, like this one I have here that I turn into a little heart, you can actually cut this in half. So I'm just going to start with this basic one. So the first thing you're going to do, there should be one that goes with this um, height of candle. It'll just stick up about an inch. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you line up one of the edges with the bottom. And you're going to go right against the edge and use your fingers to press the wick into the candle so that it doesn't move. And then from here, I'm just going to turn it and start rolling. So you want to make sure that the wick is tightly held in place. So I'm just pulling up the corners a little bit and I'm going to zoom in here. And if you're doing this and you're noticing that it's cracking, you this is a point where you might want to heat it up a little bit, but I will say at first when you're pinching these really um, pinching it really tightly, it probably is going to crack a little bit as the candle gets bigger, it'll get easier to roll. So I've got my wick in there and I'm just going to start rolling. If yours does crack, you can put it together. The heat from your hands is usually enough to warm it up enough that you can squish the wax back together. So as you're rolling, you just want to make sure that the bottom here, where the edge of the wick is, you want to make sure that that's flat because that's the part that is going to sit on your candle holder. So you don't want it to be crooked, otherwise the candle could fall over and that's dangerous. And if you're wondering, you can occasionally stand it up and just make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And you can see it's rolling up nicely in there. So we've got our candle and before you light this, you will want to trim it to about half an inch. You don't want it to be too long. And then once you finish it off, you're just going to press the edges into the candle with your fingers. Okay, so there's our first one. And the bottom is nice and flat. If it's not, you can kind of press it into the into the table the where you're working and it'll flatten that out. All right, so the next one I'm going to work on 
is going to end up shaped like this. So it's kind of a tree shape. Yeah, I've got a piece there. I'm going to take that off. Kind of a tree shape. It's the same thing. We're just going to roll our candle up. So you'll have a longer wick. And same thing, just pressing it into the edge of this. And making sure that I roll this over. So I can't see the wick anymore and I'm just going to keep rolling. And like I said, it does get easier to roll once the candle's bigger. So you can see it's starting to get that tree shape. You just want to make sure you're keeping the bottom flat. Okay, I'm going to press the edges into the bottom here. And press this down against the table just to make sure that it stands up and then we'll go ahead and trim that and this will be ready to use so there you have two candles I brought a couple of other examples so this one I actually had some extra wax so I decorated it um, you can cut shapes out of wax and then you just press them on and with your fingers they'll stick on so if you end up cutting up some of your wax, you can totally do this. Um, your, your candles might just be a little bit smaller if you cut some of the wax off, but that's fine. Um, this one was actually made as a kind of a tea light shape. And then I went around with my hands and just pressed it into a heart shape. So that's a smaller, smaller version of the candle. Right, and that is it for this craft. Um, next month, we're gonna be making miniature terrariums. If you have any questions about this month's craft, go ahead and shoot me an email, and I will see you next time. Thank you.